uh, then you need to a uh, whole basin okay and a whole basin for what whole basin you do uh, you uh, merge uh, all the uh, sub basins okay what you do you merge all the sub basins okay for example i'm doing uh, here you can see basin merge and it will merge all these sub basins and it will result in only, in only a single basin okay now you can go to the characteristics of different uh, rivers okay here you can see its river length click on the river length okay and it will be added here okay sorry okay it's uh, uh, working processing okay wait it completes river length completed okay open attribute table and it will give uh, the length okay of each segment okay if you know about your rivers for example you know about this river and you, you want to know that how much its uh, length okay then you can see here its length is about 49000 meter okay uh similarly about every every length okay every length uh, uh this is the length okay now this is the length but if you want to know about the longest for example uh all one no uh, then you can add this length plus this length okay and plus this length okay so you can add these lengths for example up to uh, here this length uh, here this length here this length so this is the for example our longest flow path or our longest line uh, length and you can add uh, oh, these all uh, lengths to get the single length of the uh, river okay so uh, also we can get the river slope uh, okay click on the river slope sometimes it fails okay yes it fails but for this purpose what you need to do geo processing option and you can enable unable or what you can say uncheck the enable button and then click ok and now you can uh, check river slope okay now it's completed and it can give you the uh, river slope also okay here you can see slope of each segment okay now 0 0.027 and much more okay similarly if we go go to the basin slope but basin slope in this case our head ghms uh, uh, does not uh, process okay uh, i do not know the basic reason but uh, uh, if you know the slope is uh, a special parameter okay uh in it changes from uh, place to place okay uh, from point to point and in shape files these are mostly the shape files uh, it gives only a single value so uh, in my opinion this does not uh, calculate or process due to this reason that it is a special parameter okay we can uh, get the longest flow path but you can get the longest flow path uh, if you have not merged the uh, basins okay let's try that either it's uh, doing or not okay I will pause the video because it takes too much time.
It's taking too much time and uh, no, I will uh, cancel it because we don't need it, okay? Okay, I have cancelled the longest flow part because it's not calculated and also we don't need it, okay? Uh, so we move to some uh, new parameters. Remember I have told earlier that this uh, uh, man you are hack GeoHMS so is basically developed uh, for hack HMS uh, to extract its uh, uh, initial parameters okay uh, but we don't uh, going to hydrological engineering modeling uh, towards hack HMS okay you can also see the HMS hydrological modeling system hack HMS which is used in a watershed hydrological analysis okay to simulate the runoff the discharge uh, based on different parameters such as precipitation current number uh, infiltration and many uh, others okay uh, we don't need it our only purpose was to delineate the watershed okay and we have delineated it and also we got it's the different uh, rivers network okay as i said uh, earlier that uh, you can uh, calculate the longest flow path okay by selecting each one and then uh, for example, I have selected this one and this one, okay, uh, this length, sorry, this length and for example, this length, this length and go on, okay. And now you can, for example, here, river length, go to open attribute table and uh, here, these all, uh, the, the, the selected one is those which, which we selected, okay. And now here show selected records only switch to this mode and now you can if uh, uh, add these lengths then you will get what you will get this uh, length of this uh, whole river okay it means that it's the longest river okay so we do not need longest flow path the one main thing is uh, another uh, for example if we click on here the river profile okay click on river profile and now if you click any river it will give you the uh, its profile it means its slope here you can see its elevation changes from 0 meter to uh, 1250 meter and its length is about 32 kilometer okay 32,000 meters okay remember our units are in meters so uh, if also we see this from the uh, attribute table this length uh, so you can see here its length is uh, 32,742 32,000 about okay and its slope is 0 0.02 uh, also you can confirm this from uh, this okay its length is about 32 is here and 32,700 uh, uh, length okay and its slope you can divide it this so we have uh, you can see here it's very uh, steep slope okay and here it's decreased similarly you can check for any other for example this river okay so this is the again this is the river okay uh, this this river height was much more this river height uh, maximum height is uh, less the one before and if we check this one so its length is also but you can see here this here this waterfalls means here uh, it is a waterfall and again and again if you go here it's also a waterfall uh, it includes the steps of waterfall and here then it uh, slope reduces okay about plain okay so you can check here this slope and also you can print it for your thesis for your uh, research work okay now what we will do uh, this is the our project we are working in the demo project if